Hi there, Damsels and DIY here. Today we're gonna show you how to make these giant, awesome betta fish plushies. Woo! <laughs> Today we're making our fish watermelon inspired, so pinks and greens, but you can literally make these fish any color you like. These are a huge hit with adults and kids alike, and make a rather inspired throw pillow. <laughs> to make this betta fish plushie, you will need a sewing machine, scissors, either a large crochet hook, knitting needle, or a wooden spoon, a paintbrush, plastic dry surface, measuring tape, a half yard of your primary felt color, one yard of your accent felt color, sheer accent organza material, thread to match your project colors, black and white fabric paint, optionally, sparkly or shimmery fabric paint if you'd like, polyester fill stuffing or small fabric scraps you have saved, water bowl, painting surface, we are using a plate, and pins. First we will be making our pattern. If you don't want to make a pattern, you can actually purchase one from our Etsy shop which is in the description below. Our fish body pieces are cut from the primary felt color you choose. For us, they are 20 inches long and 7 and a half inches wide. You can change the size if you like, but make sure you cut two of these pieces. Now get your accent felt color and prepare to cut out your fish fins. First we will cut out a tail. We are cutting ours 15 and a half inches long, 12 inches tall, and 6 inches where the body connects to the edge. Next comes the upper fin, which is 10 inches tall, 15 inches long, and about 10 inches where the base meets the fish. The lower fin needs to be 11 and a half inches tall, 17 inches long, and 10 inches at where the body connects to the edge. Lastly, we need two matching front fins, which will be 11 inches long, 2 inches wide, and 2 inches where the body connects to the edge. Once you have those cut, set them aside and get your sheer organza accent material. Cut matching pairs of small accent fins that slightly match the shape of the larger fins. You will need two of each of these shapes per fin type. Next, cut out two 4 inch long strips that are the color of your main body for an extra accent for your front fin. Once you have all your fin types cut out, take them to the sewing machine and zigzag stitch all the outer edges. This will ruffle the edges up a bit and prevent some wear and tear in the future. Don't forget to do this to the organza fins too. Take some of your leftover accent felt and cut 20 scale shapes out of it that are about 1 square inch in size or slightly less. You can skip this step if you would rather paint your scales on. You can also add extra felt colors into the scale mix like we are doing with this fish. Take your fish body pieces and lay them reversed and opposite of each other. Now pin your scales to the back edge of the fish like this. Once you have all the scales on, take your body pieces to the machine and zigzag all the scale sides down. Once the scales are on, you can put the fish body pieces together with the right sides in. Then take your fish fins and place them on top of the body where they belong. You can follow our placement. Now take the pins and use the fins as a guide for pinning the body together so that you have holes left to insert the fins into. Once that is done, go ahead and sew the fish body together with a half inch seam allowance while missing the spaces needed for inserting the fins. Now put the fish body aside and take the rest of the fabric you have for your primary or accent felt color. Take scissors and cut one third to one half inch strips out of the felt remnants. Cut quite a few of these. Once you have a good quantity cut, pin them to your fins on one side like so. Since we are making a watermelon themed fish, we are using accent colors instead of primary colors. Now start sewing the strips down and cutting the leftovers off at the ends. Once you have one side fully stitched, turn the fin over and stitch strips on the other side by following the other side seam line. Do this to all three big fins and once you are done, move on to the next step. Now that you have your fins sewn, take your organza accent fins and pin one to each side of their matching large fins. Stitch these together at the machine at the lowest edge only. For the front fins, stitch one to each opposite side fin on the outer edge like this. Flip the fish body out and place the tail into the hole created for it. Now flip the body seam allowance in and pin the fin and body pieces together like this. 
note that the tail can be a little tricky and may take some maneuvering. Do this to your large upper fin and lower large fins as well. Once these are down, starting at the upper fin front, sew right along the top edge all the way around the fish body to the front edge of the lower large fin. You may need to flip the fish over to do some extra zigzag stitching along the edge you've made to make sure any gaps or puckered felt is pressed down against the fish. Now you can take the polyester stuffing you have, or leftover fabric scraps if you have them laying around, and stuff the fish with them through the front fin's hole. Use a large knitting needle, crochet hook, or wooden spoon handle to shove the stuffing in tight. Make sure it is pretty packed because the stuffing may settle in time. Once your stuffing is tightly packed, place your front fins into the front fin hole, pin them down, and then starting at the front of the lower fin, machine stitch until you have the front fin sewn down. Now your giant beta fish plushy body is finished, and all you have left to do is paint. Prepare your black, white, and shimmery or sparkly paint. To paint your fish eyes on, make a black circle where you want the eyes to be. We also painted nostrils and gills on our fish. Take your white paints and paint on top of your black circles like this. Now you can paint your scales on or accent your felt scales with some painted ones as well. Careful when turning your fish over to paint the other side so you don't smear the paint. Once the other side is painted, all you have to do is wait for your fish to dry and you have an awesome new plushie or accent pillow. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to check the description for this week's giveaway. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.